friends. I'm going to paint a little bumblebee painting on a four by four inch canvas. Uh, it's called Buzzing Clover and it's for Debbie who commissioned it. Thanks bunches, Debbie. I really appreciate it. So follow along and see how it turns out. Alrighty, I've got a four inch by four inch canvas, which is the size that Debbie wants. I've sprayed it with water to tighten it up. And then I'm going to write the word love like I always do before I start a painting. Let's see if I can make that a little darker so you can see it. Well, let's put a, I, half the time I put a heart too. <laughs> um, that's a watercolor pencil that'll just dissolve right into the, to the paint. And then I have my palette set up for the background. I've got hookers, well, we'll start here. Mars black, hookers green, unbleached titanium, and titanium white. And I think I've got a mix. A little green and a little unbleached titanium. That's looking kind of greeny. <laughs> Is that a technical art term? And I think I may have mixed a little too much. I'm not sure. No, may not. Let's tone it down just a smidge. You could also tone it down with the complement, which would be a red. But if you can, I don't know if you can see that, but that black didn't take much black to tone that down because we want, um, so we're painting, uh, my buzzing clover painting, which I've cropped. Um, it was originally, originally on a five by seven and there was another bee over here. Um, but we want the bee and the, the clover to pop and we don't want the background to be too strong. So that's why I put a little black in there to mute it. And I think, down here, I'm cleaning off my palette knife, just because it's easier now than later. I clean my, I don't, like, I don't wash my brushes with soap and water as I go, but I get them really clean with uh, water. I have two water brushes, or two uh, water jar containers that I use. Here, maybe I can, I don't know if you can see it. They're big ball jars. So I have one that's um, the first rinse, so it gets dirtier. Actually, I wipe it all off on the on a paper towel as much as I can, the brush on a paper towel as much as I can, and then I rinse, I'll get it a little bit wet, wash it off on the paper towel some more, get a little wet, wash it off on the paper towel some more. And then I have another uh, ball jar of water that's clean, and then I do the final rinse in the clean water. It's kind of like washing clothes. And then when I'm all done painting for the day, I wash my uh, brushes in soap and water. Just a mild soap, or you could buy pink, it's called pink soap for washing brushes. Um, or just something gentle. Okay. That turned to be more of a brush lesson than I anticipated. Oh, this is just an angle brush. You know, I can't, doesn't say what size it is. Looks like it's, oh, that's quite a half an inch. Here, we could do this. No, it's more like three eighths. Okay, gonna get a little wet. I think we're gonna grab a little green. And then I'm gonna do my typical background. Okay, let's start the time lapse here. I'll come back in a few minutes with probably the background done and then start the time lapse.
thought I'd slow the video down because all I need to do is sign it. I used zinc white on the wings and the little square shapes in the background and then uh, that's yellow orange, cad yellow, magenta, prism violet, and then I mixed some colors with those colors just in case you're wanting to use the same ones. I think I'll, uh, oops, I just got my brush dirty. I think I'll use a little white. So this is the zinc white right there. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I'll use a little white. On the green I mixed. Oh, here, maybe you want a closer look. Didn't this turn out cute? These are so fun. You, really, you just can't get them wrong. And then the clover um, you would have seen in the video was just a filbert brush, about the right size. You can use a smaller or a bigger one, whichever you have. Or really any brush, you just do it in a clover shape. Okay, let's sign this. And let me know what you think of this video. I have other bee videos you can check out. Bumblebee. I might get a little more white there. It's not really showing. Maybe a little bit of water. I think I have like almost 240 subscribers now. I can't believe it. I want to thank all of you for the comments, for sharing, for subscribing. I'm excited to reach more people. Um, let me know if there's things you'd like to see me do. Topics you want me to talk about. I really appreciate it. And then when that's dry, I'll sign the back of the canvas with a, a um, oh, I'm looking for it. It's an acrylic pen. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, take care, be well, art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.